step to uh, installing RAM would be to shut down the computer. Shut it on down and shut down. Don't save, that's nothing important. Alright, well this shuts down, I'm going to start unplugging peripherals. I have a lot of USB ports taken up by external hard drives and my headphone cable. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, now that it's shut down fully, go ahead and unplug the power from the back. Now that you have the power cord unplugged, it's now time to uh, flip it over on its face. So get a towel or something and lay it down on the table and then lay the iMac screen um, screen down so you can get access to the ports underneath here where the RAM is going to be stored. Okay, now that you have something soft down on a table, go ahead and take the iMac and very carefully lay it screen first. Just does fit. And this is the 24 inch iMac. Now this upgrade will work for the 20 inch iMac, the 24 inch iMac, and the aluminum ones and I believe the white iMac before this, the, with the Intel processor, and the i3, i5, and i7 iMacs, the new ones. Um, this will, this upgrade will work for all, all of them. On the back here, you see instructions. It basically tells you how to take out this metal slot down here, which is held on by one screw on this model. And this foot is adjustable, so just move it up out of your way. Install the RAM. Go ahead and pull on these plastic parts right here. These little plastic tabs. They help unseat the RAM. Feel free to be a little forceful because they are in there pretty tight. And take out the RAM slowly, holding it edge to edge. And remember how you've taken it out. Since the gap is on the left that's longer and the gap on the right is shorter, you want to put in the new RAM the exact same way. Now, when holding RAM, you want to hold it by the silicone on the sides. You don't want to touch any of the connections or any of the circuitry. Um, the grease from your fingers can mess it up. And then to install the new RAM, just take the new RAM sticks. And remember which way you had it matched up. Go ahead. Slide it in there. Try to get it as straight as possible, and it should just go in really easily. And then you'll feel it stop. Feel free to give some pressure. Put a thumb on the left, a thumb on the right, and just push in. And you should feel it seat itself firmly. And then just tuck these tabs back in and repeat for this side. The RAM I replaced it with was 8 gigabytes of Crucial RAM, replacing the stock 4 gigabyte, um, two 2 gigabyte cards, total of 4 gigabyte cards from Apple. Um, let's see, if anyone wants these, it'll work on the MacBook, any Intel MacBook, uh, MacBook Pro, any of the iMacs, um, Intel iMacs. It's a laptop RAM, so let's see. It's 2 gigabytes um, each of PC3, 8500, and I believe it's buffered at, let's see, does it say? doesn't say. But it was made in Korea. That's really interesting. I think it's like 1333 uh, megahertz or something like that. All right. So once you have the RAM installed and the little plastic tabs tucked in, make sure they're tucked in nicely. Once you got your RAM seated on both sides, go ahead, take the strip first pop it in. Now you want to center it by pushing in the middle and then on the left and the right push it in a little bit because it is beveled and then once it seats properly on the left and the right go ahead and take your screwdriver and turn clockwise until tight. You don't want to over tighten it. It's nothing that needs to be too tight and we're done. Let's power this on see if it recognizes the 8 gigabytes which is maxed out for this model. 
Again, this is a 3.06 gigahertz early 2009 aluminum iMac with the black back. It's not the core iMacs um, with the i5s and i7s, and it doesn't have a quad processor, which I'm pretty bummed about. But it's a really nice dual core at 3.06 gigahertz. Now it has 8 gigs of RAM and a 512 megabyte dedicated video card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug everything back in, starting with the old power cord. Make sure I have it lined up properly. Okay, that's snug. Now I'll plug in all of my other peripherals. Jeez, oh, I got a lot. Okay. Start with this one. Start with my FireWire 800 that goes to one of my portable hard drives. Next up is going to be some USBs. First one is going to be the USB from my digital. First one is going to be the USB that I used to plug in my camera to transfer the files on here. Second one is going to be a USB to an external terabyte hard drive, along with the third USB. Leaving one USB open, and last but not least, the thing I use the most would be my headphone. Put that in there. All right, let's uh, go ahead. Press the little power button over here. That's always a good sign, right there. When you hear the dong of Apple. Let's see, we're getting the, alright, we're not getting any errors or panics or anything like that from the kernels. Uh, Captain Colonel Panic, always a bad person to have visit. Got the apple, got the little spinny wheel. Blue screen, alright, going on through changes, loading the desktop. The dock, let's see. The top menu bar, alrighty. And the desktop loaded, alright, that was actually pretty fast. Okay, let's go ahead and check out about this Mac. Eight gigabytes, nice. What I used to edit on was iMovie 09. Yeah, I didn't have 11, and I actually liked it. That's why I kind of like Final Cut Express because it's um pretty similar in the layout, um, but it's got a lot of those pro features. Um, so I really like it because the iMovie 09 would use about 500 megabytes of RAM dedicated to that software where this can use up to however much you can put in a machine and um, let's see I, I the other uh, video editing software I use is Final Cut Express and it's very nice it's very pro featured but I moving Final Cut Express didn't use the full potential of RAM that I have and this is a dual core processor but if I ever update in the future and get a four core or eight core machine Whenever they come out with an 8-core iMac, I'll be the first one to get it. Um, then I'll take advantage of the multiple cores as, as well as the multiple gigabytes of RAM that I just installed. So this is a good upgrade to do, especially for these old 24-inch iMacs, because um, you max it out because you only have two slots, and 4 gigabytes in each slot maxes it out at 8. And let's say you do decide to upgrade in the future. Well, the new iMacs have four slots, and they can do a maximum of 16 gigs, which is four four gigabyte chips and I'm using two four gigabyte chips so I only need to buy two more and I'll have 16 gigs if I do decide to upgrade so that's it I say it's worth the money I only paid I think it was like $79 at the making of this video from Newegg I ordered it and it's crucial RAM it's very good RAM it doesn't say it's made for Mac but a lot of the reviews say it works fine with their Mac and proof right here it works good with my iMac and I've used crucial before on my MacBook um, and had no problems with it. So I think I'll make a video of the MacBook if you guys want. Um, I'll show you how to... It's the old white MacBook, the first generation MacBook. I'll take it apart and show you how to install the RAM. It's really easy. Tell me we can. Tell me we can.